Imani's Pool, written by Lindsay Ann Fink and illustrated by Michelle Tupper. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. That's right, that's me. Ronnie was always a very curious Apple. little rabbit. He wondered how things worked. He wondered how Apple. things grew. He wondered what he could do. One hot summer day, Ronnie wondered if he could have a pool in his backyard. He asked his mom. She said, I'm very busy growing carrots. Go ask your dad. So Ronnie asked his dad, Dad, can we have a pool, please? His dad thought long and hard, scratched his whiskers. Then he had an idea. Sure, son, here is a shovel. Ronnie was confused. What am I supposed to do with this, he asked. His dad smiled. Why, if you want a pool, and it seems like you do, then you can go and dig one. Not at all thinking Ronnie would actually follow through. Ronnie couldn't believe his lucky rabbit's foot. So Ronnie mapped out the size of the pool in the grass, grabbed his shovel, and began digging a hole. Now digging sure did take a while. Ronnie did not dig a hole for the pool in one day. Not two days. Not, not even a week. Say, what are you doing over there, Ronnie? Asked Thomas the turkey. Digging a pool, wanna hop on down and help? Asked Ronnie. I can't, said Thomas. I might lose some feathers, and that would not be good. Oh yes, I remember last Thanksgiving when you lost all your feathers, and we had to search all over your house to find them, Ronnie replied. We wouldn't want that to happen again, Thomas. Hi. Hey, can you spread out your feathers, which would give me some shade while I dig this pool? You got it, said Thomas, who was happy to help his friend. Soon, Dane the dog came around. What you digging, Ronnie? A pool, Ronnie answered. Wanna hop on down and help? Sure, I love digging holes. Let's race and see who can dig the fastest. Lucky Ducky waddled by to say hi and asked if Ronnie the rabbit and Dane the dog wanted some help. Lucky Ducky loved to help his friends, especially if it meant that he would have a fun place to wet his feathers all summer long. Ronnie's sister Arlene came outside to see what was going on. Ronnie, what are you up to, she asked. Digging a pool for us, Arlene. Arlene looked rather confused, twirling her rabbit's ear. Um, Ronnie, it doesn't really look much like a pool. Arlene was imagining her and her friends swimming in the dirt. That's because it's not a pool yet, Arlene. We have to dig the hole first before we fill it with water. Want to help dig, asked Ronnie. No, thanks, but can I get you all some cold carrot juice? You all look hot. That would be great. Thanks, Arlene, Ronnie, Dane, and Lucky told her. Every day the friends gathered to work on digging a hole. In fact, it took all summer long. And most of fall. By the time the pool was finished, it was just in time for winter. Ronnie asked his dad if they could fill it with water. His dad said, now Ronnie, you have worked long and hard all summer and fall, but I'm afraid to say it's starting to snow. Your pool won't be a pool, it will be ice. The snow kept falling, but Ronnie was not to be deterred. Ronnie's mind was wheeling all day as he played in the, in the snow. Then he had an idea. A smile spread across his face. He ran into the house and went through all his winter clothes. Snowshoes, nope. Sled, no thanks. Skis, not a chance. Finally, he found just what he was looking for. He ran outside to his dad and showed him the ice skates he had found. Son, go grab a hose. We have an ice skating rink to fill. All winter long, the friends ice skated. And when summer came along, the ice melted and they had a pool. Mama. And guess who was the first one to Mama. hop in? Can you guess? Ronnie, of course. Mama. Good job, guys. Mama. Should we go dig a pool? Yes. Yes. Okay.